Good morning, this is Lindy. Today it's going to be 108. Heat is a color. Some of the things that I've been doing for me and Marley, I've been, I have a bottle of spray that I spray us constantly. I have a fan that blows directly on us. Um, I also load ice. I, I, I keep a bag of ice with water in it and I have a cloth that I dip around in the water and then I put ice inside that cloth and I wrap it around my neck and I, I don't do exactly the same thing. I wet the cloth and then I drop it. It's very lightweight. It's um, sackcloth and I drop it over Marley who's laying beside me. I, I watch her to see if she's panting. Uh, I watch her for everything <laughs> just to make sure she's not suffering in the heat. It is a dilemma. This is my third year, third year, in um, dealing with the heat in the van. And every year I add something new. <laughs> I still put ice in my bra, sorry. I do put ice in my bra. Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking about putting it in my underwear too. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. If I put it in my underwear, then it looks like uh, you've done something. So I haven't done that yet. But, but I'm thinking about it anyway. So um, the heat is, is uh, intense. And I don't like to close my van up and go into my son's. I am today, but I ask him to um, move his vehicle out and I put mine in the garage. Today I'm going to um, I'm gonna charge my two blue eddies while I'm in the garage and uh, I'm going to cook some stuff on his stove and, and uh, several things that it's just too hot to do in the van right now. Even at night, last night it was 89 degrees at 11 o'clock in the van. I just can't sleep with that kind of heat. Now I do have the Arctic airs blowing right on me and I'm okay as long as they're blowing directly on me. And um, Marley, she's right there beside me, trust me, in that cool hair. But there are many things that you're dealing with and I'm going to talk about uh, what's going on with my solar during this heat. Today it's 108, tomorrow it's supposed to be 110. So let me talk about my my solar a little bit and um, how many problems you have with it. And the other thing is the 12 volt on your car too. There's a lot of things to talk about. This is an Arctic Air clip-on. I don't put any water in it. But it, it is a uh, 12 volt or uh, USB, okay? And so with the USB, I plug it into my cigarette lighter. Well, guys, after so many hours, this gets really hot and it stops charging okay it stops charging and then this metal on this US, USB super hot it burns your skin when you pull it out so uh, you're not charging you're just kind of wasting your time now I have two of these and I I go from plug to plug so this this plug here where is it where is the plug there it is this plug here when it gets too hot then I switch, luckily I have two plugs, I switch over to this plug and I switch the other one that I have which is a red one. So this cools down and then I do that all day. One thing I didn't realize is the heat really affects my phone. So as, as I explained, these things get hot. This gets hot. The metal to your connection gets hot and it heats up the phone my phone shut off in the middle of my live because it was so hot now what I do I didn't realize what was going on I'm like why is this phone but I had been on the phone for hours and I wanted to make sure nothing happened to it so I kept it plugged in for like my live and it overheated it was crazy so now I have a bag of ice water with some ice in it and I put, immediately put my phone on that and I unplug the one plug this I, I put a new one in on the other side and then I can run my phone but it's crazy how hot 
these things can get and then they heat up your equipment that you're using it's, I never never realized that or understood that at all it, it's something else so extreme heat can do a lot of damage uh, yeah yeah so <clears throat> the same thing happens with your 12 volt here your USB and your electric these plugs get excessively hot this blue heady after so many hours will turn itself off the electricity so then you don't have any fans now you can turn it right back on if you're in the van but if you've got them on while you're gone from the van then you're stuck now the 2000 is um, really kind of bad about that I, 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 it's just the weather okay it's not necessarily the blue eddy uh, the heat in a van is extreme and there's not many things that are really uh, able to handle it this blue eddy which is my 150 which is a thousand watts 15 watt surge I've had it going on almost three years and it does the same thing it gets hot this plug gets so hot that it starts charging okay and everything you use the USB again they get hot the metal part gets hot the uh, socket gets hot the 12 volt is the same however this one does not shut off it just keeps running I watch it and every so many hours I pull one fan out let it cool off stick it back in because the fans are all run off this now um, the the Arctic fans, which are, uh, there's one right there, and there's another one right here. I put those up, but they, um, they're kind of, uh, oh, I was going to tell you, I forgot. They use 53 watts total, which is extremely low to run something. They make a huge difference directly on you. They do help to keep the van down. Now, it is 9 o'clock in the morning, and it is 94 in the van, because I'm not running these little um, Arctic Airs. I'm getting ready to go to my son, so I know that'll be okay. But as you can see, everything gets hot, and you have to pull it out. You have to check it. You have to make sure everything's okay. So what's the lesson in this? Things are just not made for extreme heat. It, they're just not. Not even the solar generators, okay? I don't know. If you do your own build, which I have a, a schematic to show you how to do your own build, and I will do that later on, but I don't know how your own build and the batteries and the connections, just the connections that get really hot that shut things down or shut things off. You have to watch your connections. You have to be able to move those connections around or unplug them for 10, 20 minutes and then plug them back in so that everything can cool off. It's all a learning, learning lesson. It's um, extreme, extreme heat. Um, and I, I have survived it. I did get the air conditioning. Uh, it's just a hassle. It's just a, it's, it, and it takes 900 watts. It, it's it's dead in in two hours your your uh, your solar because I only have two thousand on the big one and then I can't recharge it because it's too hot it won't charge it, it's a you know you're just going around in a circle trying to figure out how to work all of this it's just not going to work on an air conditioner I mean I like I need a lot more solar panels uh, I need I, you just need too much it, you you're talking a tiny space here. You're not talking a big space. It's too much. The the, the air conditioner is just too big. Uh, Marley and I have to have some sort of comfort. She has to have a place to play, a place to eat. Um, even if Marley wasn't here, I would be really uptight about it because it uses the solar, and I just can't recharge the solar in the heat. It, The 2000 gets way too hot, and it stops charging. It will discharge. It just won't charge. That's not a generator problem. That's a nature problem. That's extreme heat or extreme cold. Both, is, that's what's going to happen. You have to deal around those obstacles. 
to get some comfort for yourself. Otherwise, you, you're, you know, you're not going to survive. You know, if you go into the shade, then you don't get solar. If you stay in the heat, then it gets too hot. Then it, your solar stops. It's one thing after the other. You got to learn how to deal with it. It's pretty tough. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped a little bit. Camera.